uh, we are in the Cedar Key Town Museum. This is a uh, it's two dollar per person. That's kind of cool. It's a uh, okay. That's not bad, guys. Two dollars only. Come here and you know, you know everything's for the for the city. Up to envelope, please. And uh, yeah, and good. Put two dollars in here, and you can come in and watch, uh, see the whole thing. Uh, this is the John Cedar Museum. Go check your little history here. I hope I can walk in here. If not, uh, I'll get in trouble. But yeah, this is a. Uh, So there, John Muir, known as naturalist and conservative leader, spent several months in Florida in 1867, guys. Wow. October. 1,000 mile walk to the Gulf. Wow. So, you can read it there, guys. Leave it there for a little bit. Yeah. So, house there. A little canyon here. Protect. I don't know what, but yeah. <laughs> um, a little car rich right there let me see get it there, right there okay. yeah guys it's gonna be like a separate video guys for the little museum nice uh, wow look at this is one of the best safe parks right here wow look at that Florida State Park We'll take you inside, guys. All right. See you guys later. Yeah, so it worked out that they had a whole bunch of mosquito cream and water. So good. I'm going to give you one. The um, yeah, small tunnel right there. There's one of the places. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of them. Yeah. Like this is old floor. No, no, no. That's a good thing. That's St. Clair Wicked. That's a good thing. A lot of fishing in the streets up down here as well. Um, and then Horseshoe Beach is literally not much there. Yeah. There's a marina and a dinner. Check this out. You guys need to do some of these. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's yeah. 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 of the past yeah. right there. Yeah. 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 That is pretty neat. Yeah. 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 It's a great state. Check the house over there later. This is all the corals and mollusk from the Whitman collection. It's kind of cool. Nice. Oh, look at these wear runs. Look at these back ones. It's pretty cool. I like those ones. This, like I said, there's a lot of sharks here, guys. Too, talking to people. Yeah, a lot of sharks. See the keys of the floor. Topographic. Yeah. So, so Tallahassee is the uh, capital of Florida. Mm -hmm. Pensacola right there. Very far away. Oh, Miami. So, so guys, we are right here. We are right there. See the keys? Daytona is way, way right there. Down there. So we went across. We went across to see the kids. About two and a half hours, three hours. Right? So, it's very cool. Nice. Let me make sure of that. Yeah. Cool. And of course, it's the island. Leave it there for a little bit so you guys can read it. It's the Atlantic and the Gulf Ocean of Mexico. Travel chief time, there go. Yeah, those with great big wheel. These are kind of cool. These yeah. are the, some of the prehistoric cultures of the Cedar Keys. Yeah, kind of cool. So the company that produced these rifles is still in business. Yep, so manufacturing for this rifle so the same. Yep. The Enfield factory. Even though 
built a company called the Angel Factory for our very small right. Despite having multiple factories. And this thing is cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Let's just go this way and check out what's here. Let's see, the, see the keys and go in there. Sorry, okay, picture of that. Bam. Cool. This is a couple of stuff for the keys. I recommend, guys, you come to Florida. You have to make a trip here, guys. Got to make a trip. This is kind of cool. I have to make a trip. Look at this one here. With Bernardo Dutchman. About the year 1773. Wow, that's pretty cool, guys. Look at this one. 73 to 1855. How many of you guys were born at that time? Yeah, that's kidding. Don't say nothing. I think Darren Dobson was born in the 1800s. <laughs> Just kidding, brother. Uh, very cool. Let's go check this out, guys. And, ooh, Sorry for the beer. Kinda, there you go. This is, check this out. Photographic of from the state, yeah, so Whitman right, States. Oh, yeah. Let's go one by one here. People cool. just run out of the head of the source. And the source usually would carry the infection. So it wasn't actually usually getting shot at. So it was well, okay. kind of cool, guys. So you have one patient with, you know, similar to, you have one patient with an infection here, one patient with an infection here. Uh, They're not watching the really cool. patients. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this, this guy's got a little. Key the map we saw earlier. Is a Florida, Florida Indians guys. Oh, cool. Yeah. The David Buell and the Florida Railroad guys. Kind of cool. Look at this crazy railroad. Wow. Crazy. Kind of funny, you got yeah. Yeah. The revolving rifle Puerto Rico right guys, there. They still use black powder and the powder would ignite all of the chambers, all the cylinders of the revolver at once. Oh, oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 1855 on computer, 1861. Wow. That much yeah. 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 That's why they did not see service very long. Yeah. Seven yeah. years, seven years control it. Yeah, that's pretty good. But also, um, if it gets too hot, you need a soldier and your own weapon gets you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is a newspaper, guys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because all the soldiers will go off. Because your hands down, right? Let's go here. Oh, see the keys. See the war. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's why we were still cool. using muskets in the Civil War, even though we had revolvers and could make revolving rifles. They were just so impractical. It's wild. Until we got bullets that we got to develop for a period. We could build bullets. Basically, we could build a little thing. Yes, but your company and I don't want to have a ration or a revolver. Pretty cool. Well, my ration existed too, and they were super rare. And they stationed at near number four. Keys, they the keys. 1865. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, we told you, sorry. Pretty cool. Nice. Numbering? Yeah. Numbering? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. 1900 timber soil is a big cool guys. It's very good. Look at these. Right here. That's kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. 
life in Venice, America. Cool. Yeah, all these guys, uh -huh. See one of those in a long time, huh? Chalkboard. <laughs> cool. It's a 1896 uh, storm. Let's over North Florida. Destroy you. Yeah. This, um, try to Google it. See what's what's really bad. So, and here's a, a dock. It's a cool port dock. 1885, the house of the keys. Uh, no. Kind of cool. cool. See the keys dock. Yeah, I like these reenactment, pretty cool. Yeah. I wish you'd stay around that long. Yeah. People walking around. Yeah. Nice. Picture that. Let's go all around. Oh, wow, look at this face, guys. This is the resources, resources of the sea. So people. This is kind of a fish town. A fish town. See, look at this. Wow, this is a big ass fish. Wow. Look at this, it's pretty cool. Got different fish and mullet fish. We got the tunnel. We've got so many museums. I mean, it's not the sea travel. Like the Lightyear Museum. And uh, red basically red fish you want Henry Flyer shirts. Really? You know Henry Flyer. Yeah, it's kinda cool guys. I know yeah. I know he was the one that was probably made in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. On the East Coast. On the East Coast. Yeah. 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 Yeah
picture right here of this group. It's kind of cool. I'm weird. That one's covered, so I don't know what's in there. It looks like a something, a bowl or something, I don't know. Oh, another canyon right here. Kind of nice. Of course, people probably live there. And this is, uh, uh, I think it's probably the Whitman house. The uh, state, whatever they call it. If you see, the, this brick has names on it. Guys, a bunch of people here. That donations are from, came from 2084. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice when people donate to the uh, you know, community and the town, you know, to make you know, at least this, these things good. And yeah, all the names people donate, donated to the museum, so keep the museum going. Sometimes it doesn't get funded by the government, so people fund it themselves. Okay, kind of cool. This is our millimeter. I'm not going in here, I'm just going right here. Oh yeah, yeah, you got St. Clair Whitman. It's temporary closed, but it's nice. So hopefully when we come back, they fix it. Oh, so we can come inside. So this is his house, St. Clair Whitman, right there. Whitman's state, whatever they call it, in the old days. But this is the house that he was, uh, he used to live, kind of nice. Take a picture there, cool. So, nice museum. Uh -huh. uh, you can go a walk around and uh, stuff like that, but we're staying there. We got a uh, three hour ride. The plane over there. Yeah, it's a small airport over there. Hopefully you see in the other video, but yeah. But this is a museum. If you can come down here, definitely come to the museum. And check out the whole beach thing and then this is a good little town talking to the museum guy he says it's about 700 something people now in this little town they actually live here they don't travel the biggest uh in sta uh, state i mean the biggest uh city next to it is like maybe like an hour somewhere from here so if you do grocery make sure you do grocery for a whole month because it's a it's a little town and they have little stores but they don't have that much resources like I know you guys like to warm our target or stuff like that you have to drive at least an hour away so but it's nice to have places to to sell selling here so if you old you want to retire quiet and come down here there's not much to do but a lot of beach and fishing if you like fishing this is it this is it uh, fishing stuff here to do all right guys thank you very much hope you enjoy this museum video from Cedar Key if you come down to Florida, make sure you come visit here. It's very really nice. I would definitely recommend it. You know, it's super hot, so if you want to come beginning of the year, January, February, December, it's a little bit cooler. But if you like the heat, come down here this time. So it's um, June 3rd, super hot, 90 degrees. So thank you guys, and see you guys later. Remember, you only got one life. Enjoy your max, and always, always believe in yourself. See you guys soon.